Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Thursday, January 11th, 2024. We're going to call this the Friday, January 12th video, even though it's Thursday. That way we can keep my uh, two videos distinguished that I'm shooting uh, today. Uh, so that's my low-tech answer to, um, to that. So uh, we have five vehicles that we're going to video today. And uh, But before I do, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit notification. And that will help us with our search analytics. And it will help you because then you'll be notified when we post a new video. Um, we also uh, can be reached by telephone at 336-777-9957. You can email us at sales at maybearyminitrucks.com. And our website is maybearyminitrucks.com. Mayberry Mini Truck services all of our trucks. We get them up to normal operating temperature. And we make sure that the heat works. We make sure that they charge. We make sure that uh, the four-wheel drive works, and uh, we get them up to normal operating temperature and make sure that they idle properly and that they have good power. Um, if any of those things are not working the way that they should, we take it to the mechanic and get that dialed in. We also got the law passed in North Carolina making mini trucks street legal. Governor Cooper signed our bill into law, and now you will get a title with your mini truck. There are no extra charges. We don't charge any extra fees, no dock fee, no title fee, no admin fee, none of that stuff. Uh, you know, we just don't play any games. So if it says this truck is $7,600, that's all you pay. There's no extra charges at all. We also deliver. Uh, as as part of the accommodation to the sale of the truck, we we offer delivery. Um, of course, you know, if you have your own trailer and stuff like that, great. You know, we'll uh, be happy to let you pick it up. But if not, if you're like most people and you need it delivered, we charge $2.50 per mile one way. So if you're 100 miles away, then the delivery is $250. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's get started. The first vehicle is a Subaru Sambar. There is the VIN number. And now we're going to do a perimeter of the windshield to see what that looks like. It's always important to look at the perimeter of the windshield to see if there's any significant rust damage. And this has no damage at all. Um, the front of the truck actually is pretty much pristine. There isn't anything at all objectionable about the front of this truck. Now we're going to come down the door pillar and look at the door. And we're looking for dings and dents and stuff like that. We have one ding right there. Just one ding. And this is a shot of the inner fender. Looking good, just mud, no big deal. And now we're gonna look that bed frame where it goes, that goes like that. Now we're gonna look down the side of the bedside panel, and we have one pretty good scratch right here, right there. And now we're gonna look underneath, underneath the bed. Nice, looking good. Boy, look at that frame. Look how pretty that frame is. And there is your secret squirrel location of the VIN number on a Subaru. It's very easy not to see, but that's the secret hiding spot, one of the hiding spots for your VIN number on a Subaru sandbar. Now, we need to look under this bed mat and see what we've got under here. Okay, so we have a beautiful, beautiful engine cover and a beautiful bed. And that's a four washer engine cover on a Subaru sandbar. So that means the rest of the truck's gonna be really nice. One of my little quirky um, mini truck hacks. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look how pretty that bed is, guys. That is phenomenal. That is beautiful. 
Now we'll look at the tailgate. The tailgate has a scuff there, a scratch there, scratch there, and a scratch there. That's it. Just a few very minor scratches. And this bedside panel on the passenger side is ding and scratch free. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So far, this is turning out to be a really nice truck. I like the rain drip guard. Nice shiny chrome. Coming down the door post. And now looking at the door, we have one very tiny ding. A tiny ding. But boy, is that a pretty door, guys. Excuse me. Beautiful. All right, now let's look at the bottom of the door. Beautiful. Inner fender. Beautiful. Just overlook the mud from, it's been very wet and rainy here lately and uh, everything was really, really wet. Okay, that is stellar right there. Boy, is that pretty. Everything under there looks good. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to look under this door. Very nice, very nice. No rust. Beautiful under there. Oh, I don't know that I can get that on with one hand, but this seat also looks very good. It does have one separation right there. And the mileage, guys, is hard to believe. 13,334 kilometers. So that is absolutely remarkable. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That is like 8,000 original miles. That is incredible. Did you see what Roger did? Roger snuck in an air filter there. Uh, he, he's pretty resourceful. That is incredible. That is incredible. Do we have a unicorn or what? Let's see. The front was flawless. The bed was beautiful. It had a scratch. Mm. 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 Oh. That side was flawless. So the only thing wrong was that scratch. Man, can a scratch truck be a unicorn? I'm going to say, ah, oh, I don't know. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I want to get that repainted. If that's all that's wrong with the whole truck... Okay, so this is one of those rare occasions where we have what's called a pre-unicorn. So this is just on the cusp of unicorn status, but we're going to push it over the edge by, uh, see, this isn't even dented. It's just scratched. I'm going to have my guy repaint the entire bedside panel, and then we're going to have an eight thousand mile Subaru Sambar unicorn. So is this a unicorn? Give us a little time. It will be a unicorn. That's all we've got to do is repaint and he's going to sand that scratched paint down. So when you see it, you're not going to see the, re the, 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 um, the former scratch underneath the new paint. He will resurface it and even that, you won't be able to tell, uh, which is proper body work. So, okay, unicorn. Honda, HA4, that means full drive Honda. Let's look around the perimeter of the windshield. Looking good. Looking good. So this is just a sticker. That's all that is. 
the front of it, another sticker. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so that tells me about the character of the person that used to own this truck is that sticker right there. You know, this is probably going to be a nice truck. Because, you know, I don't know. That's just, that's just me. Oh. Oh, no. Look at this. <laughs> is that a sad face? What in the world? What's that? That's a, that's a surprised face. Oh, I can't go off of that one sticker. But that one's up higher. That one takes prominence. So we're going to go with the happy face. All right. We're going with the happy face truck. All right. All right. This is going to be interesting. Let's roll with it here. Happy face truck or not. Boy, I'm setting myself up here. <laughs> this door is ding free. Okay, so far, we got a happy face. Beautiful. Happy face. Okay, so we have um, just a scratch, scratch, scratch. Those are scratches. Nothing major, but scratches. And... Um, let me just do one thing here. Alright, so this is for your battery cover. So that really needs to go inside the truck. So it doesn't get lost while the truck is being serviced. Okay. So now, uh, the bed. Inside the bed, it's dirty, and that is it. Just dirty, not damaged, not rusty, just dirty. So that's the that's not the sad face, but it's not really the really super happy face. It's somewhere in between. All right, so we've got a, a dent here. And you can see where they slid stuff in the bed. Uh, you know, if somebody has something, to just slide it in like that. That's what that is. Now, we've got some dings on the back. We've got a ding there, 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 that were repainted to protect it. A ding there, ding there, ding there. That's so cool. I don't know why it's so cool, but it's cool. I like it. I like it. All right. <laughs> okay, so we have some dings here. I have a ding there. And maybe some very imperceptible dings there that probably don't even count because I'm being way too picky. Okay, so sad face here. Got a, got a dent there. And a ding there. And an abrasion right there. Alright. Now here is the bottom of the door. That's not any rust, just dirt. Beautiful. Nice under there. Five speed. And, okay. So, now let's go look at the other side. But this is a, a, a nice truck. It's a good truck. 
It doesn't have anything really jumping out at me wrong with it. It's just whoever had it, they used it, but not abused it. It has very low miles. That's 25, 26,000 original miles, guys. That is nice. And this is just sitting here waiting for me to start it. Let's see if it starts. I always check to make sure that it's neutral because these don't have a clutch safety switch. Ooh, nice. Fires right up. We like that. Nice. Fires right up. That's a good sign. The seat is torn in five places. So the seat's torn. And here's the bottom of the door. Nice. All right. Oh, look, there's, that's where they kept track of the mileage. So now we're at 40413. You can see he had to change it there, and then it was time to change it there. So that means that the, uh, the oil was recently changed, but we're going to change it anyway. Now is a Suzuki carry. There's the VIN number. And this is the perimeter of the windshield. And you can see here, it's got pebble pecks where um, they were on the highway and, and uh, a little rock came up and chipped the paint and then it flash rusted. But almost all of that will be gone. The discoloration will be gone. Got another little one right there maybe. Pretty translucent headlight door there. That's a really good sign. This is the remains of a sticker that was on there or a magnet magnet boy that's pretty too so i am gonna have high hopes for this truck based on the translucence of that headlight door alone beautiful nice tire okay the bedside panel looks really good look at this bed guys look at this bed Man, is that nice. So we also have chicken breast remainder and a plastic fork. So somebody at the port was enjoying their chunk chicken breast with their plastic fork. Um, looks good under there. Um, now we do have we do have some rust right there. That's gonna have to be wire brushed down and painted. That's as bad as that gets. But I'm compelled to look on the inside of the frame now because I wanna see what it looks like inside. Uh, it's a little hard to see, but there's the bottom of the bed. Okay, now push the fork back in. The bed tailgate has two dings. A dent right here. Let me. Yeah, that can actually be pulled back out. That's pretty pretty light sheet metal. Um, this bedside panel does not have, but it does have one ding. Right there is a ding. That's a lot. A lot of that is dirt. So they oiled the hinge, and then so it, it picked up dirt from the oil. Coming down the door post and looking at the door, it looks really, really good. For some reason, that mirror looks really nice. It, it, it almost looks like they replaced the mirror. All right. Now, 
come under the door. Look at the condition of the door. It looks very nice. Looking good under there. Beautiful, beautiful seat. And now, we'll come around to the driver's side. Okay. The door. Beautiful. Pretty seat. Is that a knife? No. A beautiful seat. The mileage, it's a five speed with an extra low first gear. Everything's four wheel drive unless I say it's two wheel drive. 61,356, that's like 37,000 original miles, guys. That's nice. Ooh, what do we have here? Wow. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh man. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Look. Now, let me see some. Ooh, four wheel drive. Two speed transfer case. Make sure it's in neutral. Wow, this thing's awfully responsive. Look at that tap. Huh. Makes me wonder. That's a turbo. It has um, power windows, which is pretty cool. Okay, okay. What? Boy, was I getting sidetracked. I wonder if that is a track. Yeah, I think that opens. I think that that I think that opens. Well, hold on. I should have tried it when the engine was running. Is that, I can't see up there, but can you guys tell if that's a track? Mention in the comments if you think this window opens. Or I mean sunroof, or moonroof. There's like a moonroof, guys. This is much more than a sunroof. Air conditioning, nice, nice. And it was depressed, that means it probably works. I think that's more than wishful thinking. Wow. I love that Mitsubishi did um, low range, high range. Boy, that's nice. Even a light down there. Boy, oh boy. And you can close this if you want. Boy, that's cool. Wow. Curtains. Man, oh man. <laughs> that is so cool. And the engine is so responsive, but Mitsubishi's are like that. Okay. Translucent. That's good. Beautiful. All right. So the front of this vehicle, guys, is fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. Just got a little scuff there. Nothing major. Quite minor. Good looking antenna. Beautiful mirrors. Look at the mirrors. The door, guys, is ding-free. That is remarkable. 
this door is just scratched. And most of that's going to, oh, they waxed it. I can feel that that's been waxed, you know, at some point in the past. But it actually feels good because it's so warm. <laughs> it's freezing cold today. But oh, electronic fuel injection. Huh. I see the EFI. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful tires. Nice wheels, too. Beautiful tires. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, look at the paint. The paint is really remarkable. Bravo Super Exceed. All right. Boy, oh boy, we sure know what we've got now. This is a Super Exceed. Oh, darn. The door's locked. Well, let me see if I can unlock that door. Got it. Oh dear. Button around here to unlock the gate. This is called a gate. Oh. Oh, it's right there. Cool. Wow, look at these curtains, guys. These curtains are so nice. You can lay the seats down, put a mattress in here, check that out. And then have curtains. Are there any gold bullion in there? Look at that nice toolkit. Wow, wow. Speakers. Speakers. That's our synthetic oil. 5W30, full synthetic. This is beautiful, guys. This is so pretty. Boy, that door. That's in really good shape. I've got a ding there and a ding there. And oh, a little bubble right there, I think. Yep, a little bubble right there. I believe that's what I'm looking at. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This door is stunning. Stunning. This door does have a little impression right there. And a scratch there. Man, is that nice. Boy, are those seats beautiful. Look at the handles on the backs. Those are cool. Man, is this nice. <laughs> Oh, and there's, I think you can close that. There's a little handle right there. And if you want to close this visor, I think you can. I'll try that. All right. Nice, nice electric windows. Boy, is this pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. What an absolutely magnificent vehicle this is. Can't wait to see the mileage. I looked, but I didn't pay attention. Very, very nice, guys. Just a little dirty on the... That's, that's just dirt. That is so nice. 59,285, so 36,000 original miles. Air conditioning, four speed, high low transfer case. Unbelievable. What a truck. Um, I'm not gonna call it a unicorn, I know. I know, I'm just over the top. But I just, that, that side is gorgeous. I'm just a little, and that right there, remember? Yeah, 
it's close. I've got three unicorn wannabes. One that's going to be a unicorn. It was up there, I think. Oh, yeah, that Subaru sandbar right there is going to be a unicorn because it just had a scratch. We're going to paint. But, guys, that is, like, so close to the flame. But I'm, I'm, I'm not calling that a unicorn, but, oh, is it close. All right, lastly, I just wish I could have a unicorn that just jumps out and smacks me and says, I'm a unicorn. This is our last vehicle. This is a Honda HA4. But that one Subaru Sandbar was all unicorn. It just had that one scratch, and that has to be professionally repaired so that it can be a unicorn again. Okay, beautiful front end. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just a ding. And it's been touched up. I like that. I really like that. When they touch up a ding, man, this paint is brilliant. I mean, it's it's got such a luster. No UV rate, no no UV damage at all. Oh, look at the look at the headlight door. Look how pretty that emblem is. Wow, the headlight doors are very um, uh, clear. They they have translucence, and that means that it was stored in a garage. Look at. Look at the condition of that that la that latch. Huh. Look at the gas tank. Okay. Okay. Huh. Boy. Do we have a ding? Nope, ding free guys. We do have several dings on the tailgate. <clears throat> oh boy. Man oh man. Oh man. There's a door. There's a case on the other side. Didn't call it a unicorn. Um we've got dings where somebody had something in the bed. There's like ten or twelve dings. Just very minor stuff. Very minor stuff. Boy, is that nice. Now, the bedside panel has an impression going from here to here. I mean, it's not unsightly, but it's there. So it's right there. Nice battery cover. Sorry, good to see. Boy, this truck is beautiful. Look at the bed. Look at the condition of that bed, guys. Is that unbelievable or what? Look at that. What a gorgeous bed. And the door, very, very nice. It does have a little impression right there that was touched up. And there is the inner fender. And here is the... Here is the inside of the door. Huh. Boy, that's in good shape there, too. This goes here. Beautiful seat. What is that nice? Man, I wanted to call this a unicorn, but it, I mean, the, the truck, whew, boy, is it nice. What about the mileage? What about the mileage? I can't wait to see. So that is surface rust only.
Beautiful. Look at that seat, guys. Is that remarkable or what? Man, oh man. Oh yeah, 58, 738, 36,000 original miles. So that is why we, we've got such nice stuff is because we're so picky about the mileage. I'm such a hawk for wanting to get low mileage stuff because I believe that if we can get low mileage equipment, then the rest of it will fall in place. I do have to pay more for my trucks, obviously, because they're such low mileage vehicles. But we consistently get low mileage stuff and everybody's better off for it. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching our video. That concludes this video. Uh, thank you for hanging with me as I go over the trucks in great detail. Um, and uh, everything uh, is included in the price. I can't remember what I mentioned on the video here, but everything is included in the price. There are no extra fees. So if it says this truck is, um, that this truck is, um, you know, 8,200, that's all you pay. I'm looking at the beautiful canopy here. I mean, I remember when this was turning and the leaves were turning. And I was cutting wood this morning. Here's a good use for a mini truck. See? This is what got me in the business. Is this right here. Because I was driving my side-by-side -side with wood in it. And the left rear wheel snapped off and went rolling past me. And that's when I said, I'm done with the side-by-side. -side. And that's how I got in the mini truck business. And now we're importing more mini trucks than ever. And nice, nice stuff. So guys... Thank you for watching our video. Call us at 336-777-9957. If you have any questions at all, you can email us at sales at mayberryminitrucks.com. And you can check out our website at mayberryminitrucks.com. Thank you for watching our video.